In between those two boxes are two intervening forces. And those intervening forces are critically important. Those intervening forces are homeostatic processes that regulate the balance of different systems in your body, hot and cold, awake or asleep, dopamine and the desire to pursue things, serotonin and the desire to just relax and, and chill. So homeostatic processes and reward systems. And as we now move into discussion about anorexia and bulimia specifically, what you'll see is that anorexia and bulimia are not a breaking of the mindset of what one should do or shouldn't do. It's a disruption of these homeostatic and reward processes such that decision-making is completely disrupted and in many cases is not available to the anorexic or bulimic. Now, I don't wanna be abstract here. What I'm saying is that the person who starves themselves to the point where they might die, and in some cases, sadly, do die, they can know perfectly well that their behavior is leading to bad outcomes and possibly even death. And yet they are not able to intervene unless they get particular clinical help because the homeostatic processes, the signals from the body and brain that say you need food, those aren't registering in the same way that they are for other individuals. And just as a little teaser of where we're headed, anorexics, have a sort of switch that's been flipped such that their decision-making is actually pretty darn good. It might even be better than yours in terms of evaluating food nutritional content, but their habits are disrupted. So they're not even consciously aware of the fact that they're making terrible and in some cases very dangerous food choices. It turns out habits and the way that we build and break and rebuild new habits is one of the most effective treatments for anorexia.